Part two, IRS audits and investigations and what to look for. Earlier this week, we discussed what to look out for if you have an IRS audit or investigation. And there's more. Just to reiterate, I am not an attorney. I am not a criminal tax expert, but there are warning signs that your situation has moved past a routine audit. Here's some things I've seen and read about over my career as a 26 year veteran business CPA. Okay, so moving beyond your tax return being picked at random and the IRS is starting to focus in on transactions, we're not talking about, do you have a receipt for this and do you have a receipt for that? We're talking about they are engaging you on why did you do this and what law do you think you were complying with or don't you think this broke the law things like that if the irs seems to have deep interest in a number of transactions or the way you conducted your affairs or if they are asking you for voluminous information that could be a sign this is heading the wrong direction lastly and one of the most concerning things that can happen is if someone from the CID unit gets involved. The CID unit is the Criminal Investigation Division. Those are the guys with badges and guns. Remember, no matter what, you always have rights. And one of the rights you have is the right to remain silent. You should express that right and you should ask if you are under investigation for some kind of criminal situation. And if they say that you are, you should invoke that right and say, I'm not gonna talk any further until we involve my attorney. We've done some videos in the past on what to do when you're being audited by the IRS. I'm gonna go ahead and link here our past video on how you should conduct yourself in that situation.